quick, graph y equals the absolute value of the quantity 4x by hand two different ways. It is highly recommended you watch the video how to graph y equals f times the quantity k times x before watching this video. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during the video. The first way is with what we call the absolute value dance. Normally we start at the origin and the coefficient of 4 that is inside the function does not affect this point. As you can see, when x equals 0, y is also equal to 0. And all po points will be plotted relative to this point. Since k equals 4, the graph is narrower than the parent function, the absolute value v. And recall that the coefficient is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor, which is the 1 over k, or in this case, 1 fourth. So we're going to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of 4, 1 fourth. Normally, the absolute value dance would be right 1 up 1. But for this one, it is right 1 fourth up 1. A fourth times 1 is a fourth. And we keep the y value the same. So right 1 fourth up 1 is plotted. Next, right 2 up 2 on the absolute value dance. But for this one, it's right a half up 2. A fourth times 2 is 2 fourths, which is a half up 2. Right 3 up 3 normally on the absolute value. But for this one, it will be 1 fourth of 3, 3 fourths up 3. Press pause and see if you can get the next three points on the left side. Left 1, up 1 is normally on the absolute value dance, but for this one it will be left 1 fourth, up 1. Left 2, up 2 becomes left 2 fourths, or 1 half, up 2. And left 3, up 3 becomes left 3 fourths, up 3. Connecting the points, we get a very narrow V, especially when we compare it to the absolute value parent function. And you'll notice that the same y coordinate on the green and blue, but the blue x coordinate times a fourth is the green x coordinate on all points. This has a horizontal dilation factor of one fourth, and this is an example, the green function of a horizontal shrink. We should also point out that since the absolute value of 4x is also the same as 4 absolute value of x, the green and orange graphs here are identical. Second way is using a table. This is our normal absolute value table. Here we used uh, multiples of 2 instead of um, just whole numbers, integers. Since k equals 4 inside the function, the horizontal dilation factor is its reciprocal, 1 fourth. We keep the y coordinates the same. However, we're going to multiply each x coordinate by the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. So 4 times a fourth is 1. So we'll plot 1 comma 4. 2 times a fourth is 2 fourths, which is a half comma 2. The origin remains unchanged. Press pause to do the other two points and resume when you're ready. Negative 2 times a fourth is negative a half comma 2. Negative a 4 times a fourth is negative 1 comma 4. Connect the points. And again, we compare it to the parent function. And this is an example of a horizontal shrink. The green is a horizontal shrink of the absolute value function. Now you try one. Graph y equals the absolute value of the quantity 3x. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here is your answer and you can see it is another example of a horizontal shrink.